Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Tina. Okay. If I do like this, my face looks smaller <laughs> and prettier. <gasps> Huge. Okay. Anyway, um, in this video, I we are st starting from this video. I will try to uh, introduce a GSPs and. Uh, GSP uh, used to be called uh, Java Server Pages, and uh, since uh, Oracle give the rights, give the J Java EE to Eclipse Foundation. Okay, so now uh, the new name is called Jakarta Servlet Pages, but it's, it doesn't have a big change. I didn't see it. Okay, almost the identical as before. And uh, uh, GSP, honest speak, honestly speaking, GSP is kind of like old technology. Uh, as a template engine nowadays, there has very uh, other new like uh, template engine like uh, Time Leaf and others like uh, Mustache or EJS in used in JavaScript. Those right has others, but uh, GSP is kind of like old. The reason why I do this, but you can see most of my videos are kind of like old technology. It's not that advanced, like uh, microservices, uh, cloud, cloud system, React or reactive programming. Uh, the reason for that is uh, you need to understand a little bit the background of why, what my channel is used for, okay. They actually used as uh, reference materials for my students. And uh, next uh, Monday, I'm gonna teach this course, which uh, has GSP, okay. So I want to, so that's what I covered here. Anyway, uh, one, if you don't like it, just don't click the, on this. If you don't need it, just don't watch, okay. Um, anyway, uh, let's start uh, GSP intro. The, this video, I mainly uh, want to talk about topic, why, uh, what is GSP? And why do we have a GSP? Why do we need a GSP? So first, let's take a look at all the code we have wrote so far. I think I still have the demo here okay and uh, take a look at the result or oh, do i have request no oh, this one i don't have okay okay see here so far if we want to have uh, like a, a page being displayed we using this way right this is an html right html if we want to display html and the thing about it uh, if our uh, page is a uh, huge which means HTML tags has many and also has a layout and also has a CSS how can you do using this way it's gonna be very very tedious and uh, uh, tedious job to do like this and have those escaping right and the really really bad idea to put all the page which is uh, uh, view inside our uh, servlet okay so so GSP is to solve the problem oh so, so, so sorry so you may th <coughs> okay uh, like, like this way okay but now you may think we have HTML so how about we put those things in the HTML yes we can do but when we put in HTML HTML is what is a static which means suppose here if I have if for for if I ha have some page which is a user like uh, suppose I want to have a page which will display when the user logs in okay when the user logs in I want to have a page is welcome uh, after you log in I want to welcome someone Okay, and this content needed to be dynamic, right? Suppose you logged in, welcome Josh, and I logged in, it should say welcome Tina. So this content should be dynamic, but as HTML, can it be dynamic? 
it cannot right because uh, HTML is a static content so we want to get rid of uh, all the HTMLs from our servlet because it's very tedious to do that and uh, very time consuming and it's also very error prone okay and we want to get rid of those okay and uh, if we put HTML HTML cannot meet our requirement and that's how that is the task of uh, GSP okay uh, so GSP first reason to use GSP separation of concern uh, mainly is another first reason mainly is separation of concern just it's it's a uh, uh, same as uh, uh, what's the uh, it's a, it's the same idea as HTML CSS and JS right and uh, we in HTML file we can have a CSS style embedded in we can also have a JavaScript code embedded in but uh, big we want to separate the them into different tasks like uh, HTML is for the content uh, JS is for the uh, styling right for the appearance and the JavaScript is for the action right so when we separate in different files uh, that that's a part of the idea separation con con of concerns and the GSP is trying to do the same thing we trying to use servlet okay as a controller okay and a GSP as a view view means what view means uh, the appearance okay appearance and uh, and this view is not only HTML this view has to be dynamic okay and so what's uh, what what the is uh, GSP gonna be look like it's gonna have a uh, two part of things in the GSP and the first is HTML whatever you can write in a dot HTML file okay you can put in the dot GSP file okay so GSP consists of two parts one is HTML part and the second is the dynamic part and the dynamic part might be uh, it can will be have a Java code and Java code is dynamic okay at runtime so this is why we needed to have a GSP separation concern. We don't want to our servlet contains any like uh, this piece of information, like this kind of piece information for the view, okay? And also this HTML tags, this thing, okay? And uh, uh, static HTML cannot meet our requirement because we want to also has a dynamic content being generated at runtime. That's how GSP can, uh, being created to solve the problem. Okay, so basic introduction about GSP and starting from next video, we will talk about uh, each part about GSP. Okay. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.